Hey, it's your buddy Tim Show back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And we are in the midst of the Clan v Clan, or as I guess Jay Giggs likes to call it, the Wait Shadow Legends. So we actually get to play the game now, right? For the next 10 hours and 38 minutes, we get to play Raid Shadow Legends without having to wait to uh, continually bank our resources and uh, make stuff happen. So. What I did is I went ahead and made these two 10, and then I upgraded some of these. So I think I'm going to probably um, take everything to 6 at this point. So I'm just going to go through, take everything to 6, and then I'll fill, fill in my resist, and then I think my crit damage. And then, I don't know, either defense or HP, and then finally attack. So that's my idea for that. But I guess the most exciting thing is I pulled three new champions. Well, pull. I, uh, I fused... What's his name? Here, I fused uh, Vlad, who honestly is very cool looking, but is absolute garbage. I mean, he is hot, hot garbage. I mean, maybe not even hot garbage, maybe lukewarm or medium type of garbage. Unless, I guess, you're really early game, and then he's kind of a, he's kind of a nuker. I don't know. He's terrible. Terrible. So he's going to, I'm going to take him up to 50 in my, uh, in my sparring pit, and then he will sit in my uh, vault until either they buff him or I need him for something, but I can't ever imagine uh, needing him for anything. Also, uh, the second one I pulled, this was pretty interesting, was this guy. Um, I don't even know his name, uh, Sc Scabarus. And he was part of that last fusion with the uh, high shield guy. And I was five uh, fragment short for him, but for some reason I got an offer in my market for five fat fragments for him for like five dollars. So I bought it to just to get him because I didn't have him, so I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but my concern is like, how did they know I was five fragments short? Like, that was a little scary, but um, yeah, so I ended up getting him, and those were the two. But the one I really like, the one I'm excited about, is this guy. I was able to finish my secret rooms and uh, we were able to pull the giant goober himself uh Eurost soul cage and um he is he's pretty interesting so you can see my build it's not the greatest build in the world um i had a lot of resistance on him but i figured i, I realized uh, he does need some accuracy so i switched his resistance uh a banner with an accuracy banner to get some accuracy so he can start to use his kit but yeah i mean he's okay i put him in immortal and regen to kind of keep him going and uh yeah um what's interesting about him i guess i'll show you what i thought was pretty interesting about him and uh you can drop him in and this is kind of the only place i could do this to uh doom tower floor one he can solo and so i didn't I tried sort of upper levels of Doom Tower, and he couldn't do it. Um, probably just my gear isn't good enough. But um, as as the fight goes on and on, he becomes stronger and stronger, which is pretty interesting. So you'll see he'll get pretty low uh, early on as they attack him and make life rough on him. But um, as they attack him, they sort of poison themselves, right? And uh, he increases HP and increases HP and starts to gain some shields. And um, yeah, he just becomes kind of a complete menace, actually. So you can see he's actually getting stronger as the uh, as the fight wears on, which is uh, pretty interesting. Um, really cool idea for a champion. And I liked, I liked his uh, surname, Soul Cage, right? Where he's sort of he sort of owns you as you fight him, right? So now you're, you're seeing they're not even getting through his shield, and he's slowly building back up his, his he's going to be 100% healthier, and these guys are all now sitting with tons of poisons on them, and there is Eurost with a giant shield and just love and life, right? It's really, really interesting. It's a very, very interesting kit, and kudos to Polarium for um, coming up with this idea. It's, it's, a, it's a really good one. Um, obviously, Scarab King is not in the Doom Tower uh, this rotation, so I won't be able to, to look at him for that. And he is kind of a niche champion. I don't see really a lot of other uses for him. I kind of screwed around with him in like uh, Ice Golem to see if I could uh, get him to protect um, my folks a little bit better. And I had one run where uh, everyone died except him, and he actually soloed the Ice Column because he was kind of at this point in the fight where he was just, um, you know, had had uh, had gotten 50% more of his HP and just build this giant shield every time. And uh, 
yeah, just uh, spews out these debuffs, and uh, it's pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting character. Um, I'm not going to make you uh, watch the whole uh, fight, but you can see, like, he's in no way, shape, or form in any Jeopardy right now. So, um, and I think he carries us along. Like, obviously, he's not doing the... Um, if you don't know his kit, the more debuffs the enemy has, the more his kit does. So as they get debuffs on them, he gets uh, more and more difficult to deal with. And uh, yeah, so that's what he's what he's doing right there. So yeah, pretty interesting little kit. And um, yeah, so what else we got going on? We got the uh, Soulless and and uh, Warlord uh, pull right now. And honestly, if I didn't have Either one of these, I would pull for him for sure. But I have uh, two warlords and I think two or three solaces. So, um, and honestly, solace is is a pretty gear intensive. So is warlord really, but solace is pretty gear intensive. Hey, let me ask you uh, regarding warlord. I've been going back and forth about this. He's a great champion, right? And immunity sets don't stop him from putting all of your skills on cooldown, right? So. He puts all your skills on cooldown, uh, even if you have an immunity set on. But if you have high resistance, you can resist the the uh, cooldown, uh, the skill cooldown, whatever they call that. I guess it's not a debuff, but it's something else. Uh, so I don't understand how that works. If if accuracy can increase your chance of hitting it, then the immunity sh set should uh, block it. And I think, I think that was pretty cheesy that they don't allow that to happen. So, um, yeah. So I have two Warlords. And I I built one. Let's see. I'll show them to you. Um, number two is my fast one. So he's going at 273 with a lower accuracy and uh, some decent resistance. Um, the idea being he's more of a shielder. And then uh, my Warlord 1 going slower at 241 with a 520 accuracy. So he's really the one I use. I'm probably going to rebuild this guy. Uh, maybe maybe in an immunity set. Uh, we'll see. Um, I don't know what to do. And then I really only have one Soulless built out, which is my main nuker. And uh, he's in a Savage set. Um, yeah, I know. I know I don't have this right yet. But um, yeah, that's the best I can do for him. Uh, trying to get him a uh, nuking and he does really really well um but uh yeah i can't uh, i can't get much better than that and then my other solaces uh, are sitting uh in the vault i believe let's see let's see yeah i don't even think i've started to build it maybe i only have one other solace so which is fine yeah i got a lot of dupes i know but um yeah so if i didn't have either of those i would definitely pull for them because they are s tier s tier champions so uh clan v clan uh we're doing okay we're hanging in there uh there was a time earlier this morning where we actually had uh both of these uh lined up but our problem right now is we are missing two folks so if you are a superstar and want to come uh throw in with the team here we would uh we would love to have you and so this uh clan actually um ygg midgard i'm guessing they have um, maybe this is the um, lower level for a for a end game clan, but look, I mean, even their lowest guy has thirty nine, and their their mid guys are in the eighties, right? And we're hanging in there. I mean, we're doing pretty good. I mean, we are just we're a pretty casual clan, um, but um, I guess casual clan with an attitude, right? Uh, we really do like to uh, play the game to its fullest, and part of playing the game to the fullest, we feel like, is taking part in these um, in these uh, events, uh, which we do. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So we're right there on milestone 10. Um, hopefully we reach it this time. I think we were just a little bit short last time. And this is a pretty good milestone with all the core hammers and then the uh, void shards. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> so upcoming, I think we're going to have a ancient shard pull, right? And I know I have a ton of ancient shards because I haven't pulled any forever. Because honestly, I don't need all the uh, vizier. I mean, vizier. Yeah. Because I don't really need any non-void epics right now. I'm set, so I'm not... I'll pull this weekend just to pull because there's a few things I would like to have. I wouldn't mind having um, the Cal Calvalex, and then I wouldn't mind having a Ghostborn, and a second Rhodos would be cool. Uh, go uh, Who else is there? The High Shield, eh. 
yeah, I mean, any non-dupe is pretty cool as long as they're not terrible. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to blow through them. Uh, I'm going to wait and see if they release uh, any new champions that are super good that I want to pull for. And then I'm going to try to ho ho hoard Void Shards because at some point I feel like they're going to do a Hegemon, <laughs> a um, 10 times for Hegemon, and uh, I will go a uh, whole ham for that. So just checking in. Seeing how everybody's clan, B clan is going. Hope you all doing well. Let me know uh, if you're pulling for uh, Solus or Warlord, and if you're interested in the uh, in the uh, uh, Visix as well. Uh, no, not Visix, uh, Vizier. Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great uh, midweek. I guess it's Hump Day, huh? Wednesday, Hump Day. All right, have fun. Be good. Mm -hmm.